Visit TicketCompare.com. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. TicketCompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. Um, well, I've been a Wolves fan since about 12 years old. Uh, I always loved the old stadium. Um, there was something about it which was magic to me. Um, piece, piece of history, um, the atmospheres, the matches, uh, the old Wolves teams that played in those days. It was just a, a fantastic time, a fantastic youth uh, right the way through until the days when um, the stadium disappeared and the John Ireland stand went up. Uh, they were just magic days. And being a long-suffering uh, Wolves fan, um, it's something that I've always had on my kind of bucket list to do, to build a stadium that looked like it did in the old days. Um, I started on it in uh, October 2016, spent about six months on it, then gave it a rest for the rest of the year of 2017, uh, started again in December 2017 and finished it in March of this year. Uh, altogether, I guess I've spent about 500 man hours on it. Um, I haven't been working on it every day uh, during the period when I was working on it. It was two hours one day, three hours another day, perhaps three or four days a week, that kind of thing. Um, I've made it uh, because I wanted to make it, um, but I didn't make it for myself. Um, one of the ideas behind it was that once I'd made it, it would finish up in the home of um, a, a loving wood Wolves fan that would um, appreciate it, or perhaps even in the Wolves Museum. Um, and the idea was that whoever had it, um, I would be able to raise some money towards a prostate cancer um, charity. Um, 
I've been a long-suffering prostate cancer patient, been through lots of uh, procedures and operations over the years, uh, and it would be a little bit of a way of uh, giving something back to um, either the National Health or to Prostate Cancer Research, that type of thing.